Good morning, friends. So good to see you. I got a new jacket. I think this one has shoulder pads. I don't think I've worn shoulder pads since the 80s. I'm just going to wait for a couple people to jump on here. Oh my gosh, that was funny. I am going to share this over to my creative group. If you're not a member of our group, um, know that we have a whole group of uh, community of crafters that like to share and um, I love to see you. Hey, good morning, Michelle. I get so excited when I can see my buddies on. Hi, Anne. Oh my gosh, good to see you. And I was just talking about you yesterday. Um, Jean and I were talking and I, we love you, just saying. Um, isn't it nice, like, wouldn't you love to be a, a fly on the wall when people are having a conversation about you and you can like, hear the joy but yeah we just love you that's all yeah it's good to know that you're loved share in a group um, yeah nothing nothing in particular just that we love you okay here we go yay I'm shared ha I did it yay um, so I have absolutely nothing prepared or ready but um, I do have some really cool stuff for you this week um, and I am focused in on this new designer series paper and I know this is backwards but it's the floral romance designer series paper isn't it pretty so these two patterns so that you notice that my sheet isn't full um, on my oof, on my other uh, designer papers they um they fill up the squares and that there, there's 12 patterns well this floral designer series paper is really cool i actually love when stampin up does this they um they did three sheets of two designs so i get more in a pack so if i'm holding a class um i have a lot more to go around when I'm cutting paper for multiple people, so I have to buy less packs and I and I can run a class, which is really cool. Isn't that pretty? It's um, Pear Pizzazz, and then this one is Petal Pink. I know the light in here is funny this morning. It's so dark, because um, it's January, but longer days are coming, so that's good. This one has Mossy Meadow, and when I pulled it out of the cabinet this morning, because that's the other thing I do, I, I pull out the coordinating cardstock colors when I'm getting ready to design. And what a beautiful color this is, uh, Mossy Meadow, and it's mixed in with the Pear Pizzazz. Good morning, Pat. Good morning, Jerry. And this one is a wood green pattern. Um, and this one is actually probably my favorite color. One of my friends said, uh, your swaps have Sahara sand. I can't tell you the last time I used it. I have six packs on hand. It's my, my favorite brown. It's a soft, pretty brown, and it's almost got like, I don't want to say gray, but it's not so brown. Um, and then these two sheets, I gotta tell you, this looks way better with white behind it. So let's do that. So here's my, my cheat sheet, but let me just show you it lights up when you put white behind it. Isn't that beautiful? So these are vellum sheets and you can see through them, but um, wow, I was just so excited. You know, I, I should just trust Stampin' Up! because when I open up the book, I wasn't like loving the whole design um, in the book. But then when I get it in person, oh my gosh, it's just, it lights up my, my dingy, you know, January kind of mood in the studio. Okay, so look at this. Same thing with this. This is the petal pink. It's so stunning. So, then I got to thinking what I wanted to do today and, um, I had a I had a, a helper over last night and we prepped my team meeting so it was about nine o'clock I got a really bad headache and I decided not to do anything so I got up this morning and I sent her a text and said yep still no projects but this morning I was thinking about this stamp set and um, it has a whole bunch of really cool images um, in addition 
something we haven't played with in a really long time, watercolor pencils. So we're gonna do watercolor pencils, we're gonna do Beautiful You, um, the three images, and we're gonna talk about coloring with watercolor pencils and blender pens because it's not something that we do every day, but man, maybe we should. It's so pretty. I got one hair. Huh. Well, hopefully it sticks back down. Um, and then the part of my story stamp set. Now, the part of my story stamp set is free with any celebration, uh, $50 order. And it's just my favorite. It's got every saying that I wish I could say to a friend. The world needs more people like you. Here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. Um, I'm so glad you were part of my story. You know, I said that to somebody yesterday. Um, and then um, know that a friend is thinking of you. I have a girlfriend going through a really hard time and I need to make her a card. So I think that that's what we'll do this morning. Um, and I'll just remind you that if you spend, I, I have a host code, I'll put it on this post when I'm done with the video, but if you spend $25 in my store, I have the most wonderful batch of seven card tutorial, the floral romance. I had a girl who placed a $200 order and I sent her all four of my freebie um, classes for the next four weeks. And she said that this one was her favorite. So. Um, this might be a good week to place us a minimum order just to get those directions. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera so don't get dizzy. And um, hang on one second, ready? Good morning. Nice to see you, Dawn. Oh, all right. I gotta turn that light off because it's making me crazy. Can I? All right. All right, so I think we're good. So you can see my messy table, and this is what I prepared so far. Awesome, huh? Okay, let's find the ink, because it's around here somewhere. Oh, I can't find it, I'll just get another one. Always when you're alive, anything can happen when you go live. Okay, so I grabbed a Memento ink pad. It's my favorite ink, I think. And um, this one is the rain cloud one. And honestly, it's my favorite. Um, and I have a girlfriend that really needs a lift this week. I think I'm gonna go this side. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm gonna give her a second to dry. And while I'm at it, I think I'm gonna stamp a couple more um, images. So all I did was I cut up an eight and a half by 11 piece of shimmer white. I do fancy the uh, shimmer white when I'm watercoloring with anything. So I like it with ink pads that came out a little light. And then this is another, um, these are three and three quarter by five. So they layer up easy on a card. I think I'm gonna go this way. Whenever you have an image that's bigger than your ink pad, it's nice to go backwards when you're inking up. And we can always decorate these differently later, but this is just our starter point. And I want to stamp Miss Fabulous. She is so cool. Um, this is the one with the dress. So sh now this one's smaller than my ink pad, so I'll, I'll flip it. Let's go uh, this way. I was going to go over there. I was going to go the other side. This is kind of like, have you ever been to karaoke and they have that, um, <laughs> I know, right? And you're so cool. Exactly. That's, that's it. It's like a blank canvas. Um, have you ever been to karaoke and they have this thing called kamikaze karaoke and it's where you go up to sing a song and you have no idea what you're going to sing and like they put you in for some crazy song and they just pick a song out of the book. <sighs> I, I, that's what I feel like I'm doing right now. 
I want to color this one, and I love all of these, but I think I'm going to start with her. Um, so I'm going to pull in a blender pen and a Wink of Stella, and I grabbed a new one because I typically have four or five of these open at any one given point in my studio, but if you haven't, if you don't have a Wink of Stella, well, you need one. They're $8. They're awesome. It's the best thing ever. You have to pull this little ring out and you throw that away. And then there's a pin inside here. Um, and the pin goes down in and this is where the, the, the wink of uh, magic is held. Oh my gosh, it's the best stuff ever. And then you just screw it back together and then you pull. Now, um, the first time I did that, I unscrewed it, I re-screwed it, I unscrewed it, I re-screwed it. No, pull, silly. Um, so there's a little nozzle on the side that says push, and you just push both sides until you see the, the stuff come down, the paint. If you go, if you keep pushing, you'll end up with a big blob on your paper. So now that it's like in my barrel, now, now I have to be patient, which is not my strong suit, but there it is. So I have my Wink of Stella brush, my brand new one started, and now I have probably eight of them open, but that's okay because when I'm in the studio, I always reach for Wink of Stella. Um, you know, I just changed my mind again. I'd like to make a, a horizon line. And it's, it's fairly easy to do that. You turn her, and if you are looking at her straight on, um, and really pay attention to where the ground sits. Yes, there's ground where she's standing, but the horizon line is where the sky meets the ground with your eye. So we're gonna start by making a little line with our pencil and just dragging that down ever so softly. And, whoop, perfect. So. I've got this um, blender pen going, and it looks perfect and unused, which is a rarity here. But I'm just going to take that, um, those lines that I made and soften them up. So I don't want real big streaks, but I do want that definitive um, horizon line on my cardstock. And, you know, I'm, I'm catching some lines again still, so I'm going to just soften. So once the paper is kind of wet, um, and I say wet, it's a dry or medium, um, but you can go in and just soften again and again. And if you start to see that, did you see my paper start to pill? That's when you know, stop, because this will, it'll, it'll chunk up your paper and then you'll have a, a mucky image. Okay, I just love her, oh my gosh. Okay, so now I'm gonna follow what Stampin' Up! did. You don't have to be an artist um, to do watercolor. I'm gonna follow the lines from the artist and add dark marks where the seams of her dress are, and then I can just move the color. So I'm gonna start where, whoever the artist is at Stampin' Up! that made this stamp set, it makes me so happy. I just. Not that they would see this, but oh my gosh, I just want them to know I couldn't appreciate them more. And I'm sure that my girlfriend, who's having a rough week, will love getting this project. All right, so here we go. So you see how easy the, the color is transferring, but I'm not, when, when you blend, you don't wanna over blend it out, cause then it, um, it kinda can turn to muck but you can go back in and figure out where it needs more color, like right there, and add some more accents after you've done the color. So you can add those lines back in, and now you've got this like dark to light thing going on. But again, if you see the paper pill, stop, because that's your, that's your end game. All right. Wow, she's beautiful. Okay, what color should the umbrella be? Should we go purple or gray? You tell me. We're, this is totally blank canvas, so while you guys tell me 
where we're gonna go. I'm gonna pull out a soft color, probably Calypso Coral, and do her legs. Tell me, tell me what color you want it to be, and I'll watch the comments here. Gray, okay. Laura, you're in. First one to answer, I love it. But I think maybe her shoes should be uh, Razzleberry. All right, so here we go. She's got a neutral color palette to start. I love it. I have I have a lot of black in my closet and gray because you can build off of it and wear any you know wear any color with it. So you can put all your primary colors with it. All right, so here we go. And then I just did the same exact thing that we just did before. So I'm gonna take that color that we just kind of dabbed on and color it out. So I've got a few new things on my calendar. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the retreat in um, Maine, but I'm absolutely excited about that. Um, we are about halfway to capacity on that one. And then my very first stamp in bingo, and let's be clear, I don't play bingo, so it's gonna be a different style of bingo. It's played with um, three playing cards, and it goes really fast, so there'll be lots of time for, to make the six projects. So if you're in the area and you wanna come play bingo, um, it, the cost of the class is $30, $35, and I'm giving $30 back in product to everybody. So you, you come in the door, you get a $15 goodie bag, and then you go from there. I'm gonna grab a paper cutter. So that we can get her going. Oh, isn't she pretty? And then let's see, we, we should probably measure it some sort of measurement. Let's see, three wouldn't be good. How about, so that's three and a quarter right there. Should I give her a little more room? Yeah, let's go three and a half. How pretty. So we've got three and a half by two and a quarter. Now, I want to go back to this palette. The first thing I do when I design is I pull out my color palette and my designer paper. Ooh, see, see how that Sahara sand pulls a little bit gray? Makes me so happy. And then look, there's her, there's her leg, even though, um, we used the Calypso Coral pen. It did pull in that um, petal pink, which is kind of like a peachy keen pink to me. Um, but, ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited now. Okay, so how about if we pull in one of those three and three quarter inch pieces? I think... I want to see that um, that vellum with her. So hang on, let's let's cut a little strip here. I love this paper cutter because um, you get the numbers on both sides. So I want a three and a quarter. I mean a three quarter inch strip from my card, and I'm just gonna go the opposite side to measure because it's because then I'm not like shifting my paper around too much. So there's my three quarter inch piece. And my paper was five by three and three quarter, so I don't wanna go completely to the edge. I think I'm gonna cut two strips Ooh. at, let's go three and a quarter. These are so cute. Oh, I can't wait to get this on, on my white background to show you, because I, I know that they're just gonna pop off the page. Let's get something with some purple in there. This is, I'm gonna cut it long on purpose because I want those little purple flowers. So three, what did I say, three and a quarter? I already forgot, I'm like Dory. Okay, so there's my two little strips. And let's see what she's got here. 
Oh my gosh. Doesn't that just make you happy? Oh, okay. Adhesive, that might help. I took every package of glue dots that I had and put them in for my team meeting boxes. So I only had one left in the drawer. I'm so glad it was there because I would have been a little fussy. You know, I think I'm going to use snail for this. I was going to use glue dots behind the um, purple pieces. And you can definitely see that there is an upside. This one is the darker side, so I guess I'm putting my adhesive on the back side. Um, when I went to art school and I was taking this class on typography, my professor told me that if you get any item that you want to mount perfectly centered on three sides, it doesn't matter where the rest of your stuff goes because it's just going to look right. And gosh darn it, I use that all the time when I make cards because it really does work for me. Yowza. Okay, this is coming together pretty good. What color do you think we should put behind her? Do you want to, maybe we'll use the purple, um, or we could use the dark green. Talk to me, kids. What color do we want to use? I am, I am very partial to purple, so while you're waiting, I'm going to cut a mat just a little bit bigger than that than that main piece. Purple. Yeah, I'm with you, Laura. Woohoo! All right, so I forget already. We said this was three and a quarter. All right, so let's go um, a little bit bigger than three and a quarter. So that would be three and three eighths. I don't want to make your head hurt, but it's just two lines past the three and a quarter on the paper cutter. I like borders that do that. Um, thin borders and then thick borders um, that alternate. It makes me feel like my project has grown up a little bit. So this was a two and a quarter inch piece, so I'll do the same thing on that side. I'll go two lines past, which is um, two and three eighths. And we'll stick this down. Oh, I got it wrong. That's awesome. All right, so let's try it again. Duh. So let, that's why that's the beauty of uh, TV. All right, let's do the long side first because honestly, I can't count. Oh, it was three and a half. I changed the measurement. That's why. So a little bit bigger than three and a half would be three and five eighths. It sounded wrong to me when I was saying it by two and three eighths. We should be good to go now. There you go, not every card is perfect in its inception. You just have to kind of work with it. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> that makes me so happy. <laughs> um, okay, so now I'm gonna go five and an eighth, which is an eighth of an inch bigger than my, um, my, my white piece and then um, three and seven eighths. So that's, again, an eighth of an inch bigger than my five by three and three quarter layer. Oh my goodness. My friend is gonna love this card. And she really is having one of those horrible weeks the kind that you say, look, if you need me, just call, I'm coming. I think I need dimensionals on that. If I was ever a superhero, I would be like Wonder Woman and I would have cuffs and one side would shoot dimensionals and the other side would shoot out glue dots so that I don't have to get up and go get them when I forget to put them on the back. Now, there is nothing worse than finding a card that you made a year later in the drawer because you didn't mail it out like you intended and finding that the middle is sagged down or the side is 
punched in because you didn't use enough dimensionals. So I am a huge believer in dimensionals and I use them freely. Um, but oh, you notice I have a ton of them on here. I'm, I don't need to peel them all off. I got my four corners of sticky and I got one in the middle sticky, so that's enough. Um, it's really just about the height. Those can be not sticky and still be on my card. It's fine. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, before I stick that down, hmm. I want to go back to that stamp set. Let's take a closer look here. This is the one I wanted to use for my friend who's like having a really bad day. Well, a really bad week. Um, but our card doesn't really have a spot for it. So maybe we'll make a banner. We'll, we'll stick this on. Or maybe we'll, you know what? Maybe we'll put it on the inside. Okay, I am loving these colors so much, but this petal pink just poked me in the eye. So let's go back to our palette of colors. Again, this is what I do. I pull, you know, I pull my sheet out. I see what I have for colors that fit the designer paper, and then I come back to it. Oh, yeah, look at it. So let's make the card base, and we'll just... Um, score it in half this way. I love this paper cutter because um, I don't have to open this until I get past my, my six and a quarter inch mark. It's made for card makers. Stampin' Up! is so smart. Um, and then I'm going to uh, cut it at four and a quarter. So I scored first so that if I wanted to have another card base hanging around, then I'm good to go. Okay. So half the work if you're prepping a class, right? Oh my gosh, I love her. Not too bad for an impromptu um, kamikaze video, right? Kamikaze stamping. All right. So that's our first project. Um, I want to go back to those other images that I stamped earlier, if I can find them, because my table's like an absolute disaster area now. All of that progress is, uh, so there's that one. We already did a sad card. But, you know, if I wanted to take some of the same elements, um, my friend that needs a card, and I really want to get this on a, on a sentiment for her, I can color it similar to what I just did with the watercolor pencils. And hopefully this isn't upside down. I should, <laughs> I really should test it. <laughs> and let's just make sure it's on the block straight. So this is something, no matter what, if there's a sticker, I, I don't, I ignore the sticker and I always put the stamp on, on the block so that it's straight with the line here. And then um, I line the block up with the paper. Sorry if you're seeing my noggin. And then I have a, a fighting chance to get my um, get my image straight. So I just wanted to highlight some of that, and I want to make sure that there's no uh, gray left on my because you know memento ink does move. So I'm just going to do my best to not go through it, but I can blend that color out. Look at how pretty that is. I could probably just leave, you know, a portion of this. Oh yeah, look at this. I'm totally just gonna wing it. And I like this cutoff piece even though it's not a perfect fit, but isn't that the way life is sometimes? Um, and if you were having a hard day, I'm sure that you'd be happy to get this. I'm gonna center this a a bit further down and give it a trim after. And I don't think I'm gonna color her. She looks so pretty right there. I think, wow. Hashtag simple stampin' right there. So we've got um, a matted 
on one side. And if I want, I could go back and color it with the pencils, but I think she's good. I mean, yeah. And you know, there. I don't know if you're catching the glimmer, but there is some shimmer to this paper. It's shimmer white, and so it sparkles through the whole thing. You know, while I'm thinking of it, I gotta show you something that I figured out this morning. Where is my glue? Ha! Huh. I lost it. Oh, here it is. So you know the um the glue with the fine tip. Well, this morning when I went to open mine, um, it was completely blocked up. And I was pretty frustrated with it and whacking it off the wall. And, you know, this, I actually spent a half an hour doing this, getting ready for my live. But now you notice it's working, right? So I got to show you what I did. And it's kind of messy, but um, I took the pin out and I undid this. And when I looked down here, um, the hole was plugged. So, of course, I put my mouth on it and blew in it and nothing happened. <laughs> so then I took this and I went like that, bam. And um, it was all clogged up and not working. And what do you know, um, that did the trick to clear out the glue goober that must have been stuck in there. So I took this and cleaned it off. Hang on. I know I'm going to make a mess doing this because I'm live. Um, and then just put it back together. And voila, I fixed my um, fine tip glue pen. But the reason that I wanted to take it out at all was because of this umbrella. Um, because I thought, how fun would it be to make some raindrops? So... Let me show you. So what you do, and I hope that this shows up because it's white, you know. You take a drop like that, okay, and then you just pull up. So I'm going to do another drop because this thing is really flowing right now, and those are giant raindrops. But you just take a drop and pull, drop and pull, drop and pull. And you can even carry it up here and because this is glue it does dry absolutely clear so I can take this and use it to add a drop to my middle of my card. Isn't that cool? So then I want to take my Wink of Stella and again don't screw pull. <laughs> um, why is it when I say stuff it just doesn't sound right? Um, <laughs> I make myself laugh here. Okay, so I'm adding some sparkle to her dress and some sparkle to her umbrella. So Wink Estella makes everything magical. And you can just add a little bit of sparkle right there. Look at it. It just took that to the next level. And then you get the raindrops. Um, and if I wanted to, I could probably put one. Oh, look at it. It's really goobery. Hang on, let me get another piece of scratch paper. Oh, is that glue? Oh, crap. Ah, you know, that'll be there permanently. Um, I said crap on a video. Well, you might as well know I say it all the time. And other select happy little colorful metaphors. All right. So we've got raindrops. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Is that not the coolest thing ever? Oh. All right, so we can go back to the other card and maybe we should color her a little bit and then put some raindrops on her. Um, I think this one I want a purple envelope, I mean a purple umbrella because I already did a gray one and Lord knows I can't do the same thing twice. I'm gonna add a ton of color in here and make this super dark. Um, so that when I hit it with the blender pen, I can soften it up. But I want 
a real dark to light kind of contrasty thing. And I think I want to actually, so sometimes when you watercolor, knowing when to stop is the key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make like a halo in the middle here and not have any color in the middle of the umbrella, but it still looks like completely purple. Whoop. Okay, back down the sides. Here's that giant swath of color, right? Let's drag some of that out. Oh, that's awesome. I should probably move that card because you know I'm going to run my hand through it before it's dry. It will take a little, like probably five minutes for it to dry, so just be careful. And again, if you like this designer series paper, I have a whole uh, tutorial with any $25 aura this week. Um, or if you prefer the the uh, All My Love Suite, I have one with that too. So if you do a $50 order, let me know and I'll send you both. Oh yeah, that's cool. So let's take a closer look. So I just pulled out that color. Yeah, this is gonna be great for my friend. I've got glue all over my table. I'll be I'll be using the um, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser on my table. But that's what crafting's all about. I make a mess. And that um, tip about the glue. Honestly, I had no clue that that's how it was gonna go. That was just how I fixed it. Um, but sometimes it's nice to share those things. There's not one good way to do things, so your way might be better, but it's nice to have different ways to look at things too. Um, and Lord knows I'm different. Let's see, here we go. I could color all day. Oh my gosh. She is my favorite. Yeah, I love her. Should I, um, I should probably add some color to her leg, huh? Oh, and I didn't do the purple shoe on the other one, but that's okay. My friend who's getting this, she's super, um, fashion like, she's the only person that I see at the supermarket in high heels. So I think that she will much appreciate the effort and love that goes into making a pretty dress for her. Okay, and then got to add some Wink Estella. Oh, ready? Yay. It just makes everything pop. And I can just mush it on because all the color will stay pretty flat because the watercolor pencils are sort of a dry medium. But not all watercolor pencils are created equal. Stampin' Up's watercolor pencils are somewhere between a pencil and a crayon. So they're nice and um, soft and it makes it super easy to blend with the blender pens. You wanna make sure that you have nice new blender pens that actually, that you can feel a little bit of uh, wetness on them when you when you go to blend, otherwise it, it, it could get frustrating. Um, and I will say also, not all watercolor paper is made the same. I do love Shimmer White and the actual watercolor paper when I'm doing watercolor. Um, because it makes you look like an artist. You can't skimp on some things. Um, dimensionals, <laughs> um, watercolor paper, uh, the right paper when you're coloring makes a whole world of difference. So here we go again. I'm gonna do just a dot and pull. Oh, that one got bubbly. Well, drip. Drip, drip. This is fun. You could really go to town making these little um, raindrops. And you could probably I, um, maybe add color to them if you if you mixed the the glue with uh, reinker before you went, but. For rain, it's just so pretty. Okay, let me see if I can show you. And if you can see. Wowza. So, 
we did kind of good considering that there was no plan this morning. What do you think? I'm going to flip the camera over so we can take a look again together. Well, maybe if I can figure it out. Well, no, apparently I'm not. I'm stuck in some sort of um, loop. Ready? I don't know if you can see me, but I'm such a goof. Um, I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, there. Okay. Ah. Now what? Okay, I'm here. I swear. I just can't see. Um... Oh my God, that was a mustache. <laughs> I didn't. I just saw it on the on the play by play. That's hysterical. Okay, well, we'll we'll add that to the bloopers. But here you go. There's a good view of the card. And then here is the other one from my friend. So hopefully you have nothing but sunny days. And um, we'll see you again next week at 9 a.m. If you're on my team, I'm going to bounce over to our team page. We have a little bit of training scheduled this morning. And... Um, yeah. Oh, it's a big day. Uh, we're registering for on stage. Uh, again, retreat is half full and uh, bingo is going well. We have eight people signed up, so it should be a fun day. That's a week from Sunday. Don't forget to sign up so that I can order all the prizes. The more people that sign up, the bigger the prize pot because uh, it's $35 to play and I'm giving away $30 in product. Everybody who comes through the door gets a $15 goodie bag and we're going to make six cards. So the added um, prizes is just for fun and excitement. So I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. I don't know how to stop.